Um, it's the 21st of November. Uh, it's been a great week. Um, I met uh, people at the Guardian Media Group this week. Um, obviously, incredible publication, The Guardian, and it would be fantastic to work with them in uh, 2015 to raise awareness of the day. Um, because as, as, as we all know, you know, awareness of the day means action, and, and action has an impact on people's lives. So it would be great to do something with The Guardian. Um, the McKinsey team arrived uh, to start the process of analysing the data and helping us to come up with the figure for how many people were made aware or are aware in 2014. And then, of course, uh, the percentage of those people um, would have behaved differently. Um, they were involved in peaceful activities and therefore they were more peaceful in their lives. They were involved in activities in school and therefore there was no bullying, etc. Et so it's amazing that McKinsey's are here. Thank you so much, McKinsey. Um, you know, it really is everything to know exactly how many people we've touched. Because, of course, by 2016, we want to make sure that 3 billion people on the planet are very, very much aware of this day of peace. And at that point, I think the institutionalisation, the sense of the day being self-sustained will be a reality. So it's, uh, it's great that they've come. Um, it was great to see Jochen Zeitz, uh, what a phenomenal individual he is. Um, you know, Puma backed us for many years. Uh, Jochen was the head of that, and he was the man behind supporting Peace One Day. And obviously he's doing phenomenal things in the world, and he's an amazing guy. And um, you know, part of the B team, which is a, a select group of very influential um, individuals, and I'm going to be making a presentation to the B team uh, later next year, so I look forward to that. Um, looking forward to the team meeting next week. Um, you know, through these winter months, you know, it's the time that we really, you know, kind of really settle and really breathe and, and, and really work out exactly what's going to be going on. And as I said in my report before, we're doing a 21-month plan. I've talked, you know, extensively with each member of the team about, you know, what we're going to do and how we're going to do it. And, uh, you know, I'm really looking forward to everybody hearing everybody's ideas, you know, in that meeting next Thursday. It'll be really exciting. Um, so that's uh, that's good news. And um, and then, you know, I'm looking forward to, you know, the, the shows of next year in the DRC in Rwanda with ACON. And in March next year, around a sort of six-month countdown, we're going to be creating incredible events uh, for all of our partners, all the NGOs, domestic violence, the UN system, you know, governments, uh, sport, dance, uh, you know, um, uh, DJs, uh, you know, everything really. You know, so POD is going to Rwanda in the DRC six months before Peace Day, and of course, the team are excited about that. So, you know, stay tuned for more information. Um, and uh, I won't say I won't say you know start thinking about what you're going to be doing on Peace Day 2015. Although I really want to, because it's a long way away. But anyways, uh, have a wonderful weekend. Time for a rest.